right, folks, we're on another mission here. I've got to go move, uh, I've actually got to go move a little Ford Ranger and a Dodge truck. And I'm hoping that, uh, that I'm going to be able to buy the, the Dodge. It's actually a short bed step side. And, uh, about like the little Red Express, but of course it's not. It's a, it's a baby blue, I think. But, uh, we're going to see how this works out. But either way, I've got to move them from the driveway where they've been for years to the, uh, to the back of their property. And, uh, of course, if I move them to the back of the property, you know that the, uh, the Dodge is probably going to sit until it rots away. So we're going to try to obtain it here. And uh, it might be un unobtainable, but we'll see. All right, I'll show you more. All right, folks. Uh, I wasn't able to video while I was loading, but uh, I did score on this one. I uh, moved the little Ford Ranger to the back and uh, just asked them about buying it and they threw a price at me and I jumped on it. So uh, this is a 73 Dodge. I don't know how well you can see it here. We're going to get out here in a little bit and I'll uh, show you what it looks like. It's uh, not too bad. It's got a 318 in it, an automatic uh, shifters on the floor. He's got headers on it and he drove it for years and I guess it was dad's before before that so but I just knew that if I moved it from the driveway where it's been sitting for years to the back then you know it was it was never coming back for sure so uh, and the Ford Ranger I guess uh, we'll just have to let it sit back here and rot but, uh, anyway show you more all right folks here's uh here's the old Dodge 73 Dodge D100 uh, short bed step side Pretty good shape, body. Uh, body's real good on this side. A little bit of rust on the other side. I mean, there's basically there's no rust through it all over here. Uh, got some of the uh, the green mold on it, or uh, lichen, or whatever you want to call that stuff. Anyway, moss. Take a look at it here. We got headers. Uh, glass packs and exhaust coming out on each side right here in front of the tire the tires was well the front ones was really good when they parked it they most of them went flat here tailgates on it looks like last time it was on the road was 07 so that's 10 years ago The bed is good on this side, and we got some rust on the door and some rust on the fender. But again, the, the cab on this side is perfect. Now, I'm not sure about the floors, but if I was to guess, I'd say the floors are perfect in it. We got a little bit of rust on the front of the fender there, but not bad. Uh, and I didn't know it was a 73. I thought I figured it was a 76, 77, something like that, but. Uh, I don't see any dents or anything in it. We're going to uh, go put some air in the tires and go ahead and get it unloaded and we'll check it out a little better and look at the motor in it. All right, folks, we got it unloaded, got some air in the tires, and they seem to be holding up for now anyway. And it rolls, nothing stuck. Uh, I believe we got disc brakes on the front. It's a 73, so it should have. And it does. It's a good thing. Like I said, it's been sitting 10 years, so this is actually not very, not sitting nearly as long as a lot of them said. I see a hole in the hood from rust. These things have got some big inventions in them here. But uh, spark plug laying on the hood. Hopefully we got spark plugs in it, but a little full of trash. We got uh, bucket seats, little steering wheel. There's a B&M shifter mounted. It looks like you left all the CB stuff in it. Or at least the linear and a, a uh, set of meters. I don't see the actual CB itself, but then there's an the antenna still on the truck. So, but we're going to uh, we're going to open the hood. There is a little bit of rust in the floor, and that's it right there. There's no more than that, and that's probably from the the heel of his foot. I know I've got one that's doing the same thing where my heel has rode for a long time, but 
windshield's got some chips but no brakes. Make a neat little truck. Uh, these things are just getting so daggone hard to find. Uh, tanks behind the seat, and that's kind of surprising. On I didn't realize they did that in '73. Uh, you know, I know Chevrolet. They '73 they was putting them underneath, but uh, I think '72 was last year for them. Let's see if we can get this hood open. And I haven't looked at it yet, so I'm not. I don't even know what I'm getting into here. Might be getting into, you know, half the engine being missing. anything missing maybe air cleaner battery still there looks like we got a quadra jet four barrel and this is either an old Buick or a Pontiac because you can tell by the straight fuel inlet Chevrolet and Cadillac would go out to the side and uh, chokes not hooked up on it at all make sure the throttles well, not bad. A little bit oily, but excuse me, should fire, I hope. If it's not stuck, I'm just look and see what the oil looks like. Just black, but it's there. You know, them intakes, a lot of these things ran thermoquads, and uh, usually the big blocks, but some of the small blocks too. Not showing any water, but uh, a lot of the small blocks ran them too. But a thermoquad is a spread bore, so a quarter jet will, even though it's a GM carburetor, will bolt right right in place of a of a uh, thermoquad. So. I have to check the numbers on the engine and see maybe what engine that is. You know, he says 318, I have no doubt, but I just see, see if it's original to the truck or what year it is. And she's pretty oily, so. But anyway. All right. We'll have to do a first start on this one, I guess. And the stickers run out in 06, and the tags run out in 07, so 10 to 11 years, I guess, is what what it's been sitting and uh and this thing does have uh that moss or lichen or i can't i'm not sure what that is but it's growing on both sides of the truck so we've got some here on the driver's fender but we've got even more on the passenger side good camouflage he's trying to take it over there but this will be a neat truck for somebody I doubt you see them like that up north, you know, in that good of shape anyway. You still see the blue paint on the inside of the fender wells in the back and, you know, besides the little bit of rust on the fender and just a little bit at the bottom of them doors and there's one little spot on the floor, you know, that truck's about perfect. And that, you know, 1973, that's over 40 years old, so. About 43 years, I guess. All right. Guess we'll see what we can do with this one later. All right. Appreciate everybody watching. Till next time. Bye.